Dean Mitchell is a watercolor artist who grew up in the small town of Quincy, Florida during the 60s and 70s. As a young African American, he faced many obstacles. Inspired by his grandmother who raised him, Dean has become a voice for those who live in poverty and inequity. When I was a kid, I experienced racism very early on, and it's an irony that uh, I used to pray if I could do anything with my work, it would help us heal those wounds of racism and segregation. A lot of these things have shaped my sensibility about what I do. So a lot of it is not just because I think it's, it's interesting in terms of light and this and that and shadow, which does interest me. But the main overture of, uh, uh, about the work is about poverty and the marginalization of people and how those spaces affect our whole sense of self in a space. That's been just a part of who I am. This art thing, however you want to describe it, is a huge part of my, my life. And so I want it to mean something. If I can change the world in any way, it would be to help break down certain social constructs that I think are detrimental to us as human beings, and there are plenty of them. <laughs> My name is Matt Cutter. I'm with Cutter & Cutter Fine Art in St. Augustine, Florida, and I'm also a painter. We've got a good track record over 10 years of selling hundreds of, of paintings from Dean, so I think he's a very strong, worthy artist, and I do think he stops people in their tracks, and it's very contemplative. He's not grabbing you with the brightest color. He's not grabbing you with bells and whistles. He's grabbing you in a different way. He's asking you to like come in very slowly, examine what's going on, feel that nuance, and that's, that's what he brings to the table. So if you're 30 feet away, you would say that's realism, and it is, it, it, it conveys that emotion. When you look really closely at how he's laid down the watercolor layers, there's a lot of abstraction, there's a lot going on with the design. What he does, he plays with the dark and light, and everything, in my opinion, with Dean's work is keyed in on a strong design that, that sets up everything for the painting. Dean Mitchell is beyond that of a master. If you, if you have one where you say, this is the apprentice, and this is a master, well, the apprentice learns how to do a this or that, and then once they're able to demonstrate that, then they say, oh, okay, now you're a master. Dean Mitchell is an enigma. <laughs> uh, Dean Mitchell was born to do what he does. When I look at Dean Mitchell's work, I do see science, <laughs> I do see philosophy, I do see religion, because some of those pieces, like Rowena, when you see that particular piece, that is a religious piece, that is an icon, that is an actual Mary, that you say, oh my God, she speaks of humanity. Where in the world would someone painting like an Andrew Wyeth, and in some cases better than Andrew Wyeth, come from? And, and therein, I think, lies the the spiritual quality, because if you look at Dean's background, Dean achieved not because of, but in spite of. In spite of is when God takes place. Therein lies the miracle. I was raised by my grandmother from 11 months old, and so I was sort of a, a highly active child. And so I would often walk to town with her, you know, because uh, I grew up in the Panhandle of Florida in a little town called Quincy. And uh, I had no idea of uh, the kind of wealth that was in Quincy because we basically stayed in the black community. A lot of us, had, when we first got our first bikes, we would ride over in the area and we would see these huge mansions. And so I began to look at the, the wealth discrepancy. Uh, and I said, how could somebody have a house that big? And really didn't, you know, didn't really understand it. Uh, but I think through the years, as you become more educated, more socialized, you begin to recognize how you fit into uh, the social structure or the social order of things. And then when Martin Luther King uh, started emerging on the scene, uh, we would watch him on television. So a lot of these things have shaped my sensibility about what I do, because I do a lot of things, a lot of the environments that I do are a window into poverty and, and, and a window into that psychological space in which I emerged out of. 
this teacher, Tom Harris, who uh, there was four of us who were really interested in art, and he introduced us to local art competitions. And so we were often the only black people at these shows with, with Mr. Harris and his wife, who were Caucasian. I called it the crucible of competition, <laughs> you know, which can be good or bad because it puts pressure on kids. He was even as focused then as he is now, but there were so many negatives. A lot of it was the black-white thing. He paints what he wants to paint because it feels the need in here to make a visual statement about what's going on. And that's the strength of Dean Mitchell's painting. Half of his, his focus and intensity is based on, this is what I'm doing is, is extremely important and it's never been done before. And whenever or however, whatever the recognition is, I have to do it my way, which to me, is almost a definition of what art is and what art's supposed to be. I will be gone at some point, but what I leave, will it really make the world better in some ways and make us examine our own human behavior toward one another? He didn't paint to sell. Okay, that sounds ridiculous because he had to make a living. He painted because it's something he had to do and something he had to say. He wants people to like examine this work on a, on a deep level. So I do think he's, he's very important now, and I think his work will, will be very important 100 years from now. I think art has a way of mirroring back to us what we've become. And it also provides us history in which we can reflect back on to, to not keep repeating the same mistakes. It's that, that kind of troubling world that feeds my passion to try to figure out how to derail some of the destructive behavior. Explore more at deanmitchellstudio.com.